Um, if you're playing around with RS-232 and uh, you'd like to kind of see what's going on, uh, this is a nice little board. Uh, this is built by um, uh, GG Labs and um, they have the website here, uh, gglabs.us and um, it's a little uh, breakout box, um, male and female and uh, it allows you to monitor the lines with some LEDs and it also has a jumper area that you can uh, jumper things back and forth. There's a, a switches here so you can switch them straight through if you don't want to jump you can just run them all through. Um, if you open up the switches then you can put your own jumpers on and so I have this wired to a null modem where um, the uh, pins 2 and 3 are swapped, the uh, RXD and the TXD and uh, CTS and RTS are also swapped which are pins um, 7 and 8 um, on the 9 pin, nine pin connector. Um, and those are the only pins that are used um, on the uh, Zeta 2 board, for instance. Um, pin 5 is also used. Pin 5, five is a ground, uh, so that goes to ground. Um, so I sort of wanted to have a board like this dedicated to the uh, Zeta 2, uh, so I can just pop it on. And once again, I have a male-female, so I'd have to do a gender change. So I thought I'd have a female-female. I wouldn't need to do the gender change and everything. So. I thought about maybe buying another one of these boards and uh, modifying the circuitry uh, to accept a female-female because the pinout's funny. Um, so I went to their website and it turns out that this is an open source board. And so uh, I had some uh, new boards made. <laughs> um, this is actually one revision better than the board that I've got. Uh, this is version... Um, can I read it on here? Oh, I don't know what the version is, but anyway, it's a little bit, a little bit different than this board. This board has uh, two resistor packs. This only has one resistor pack. Otherwise, it's the same board. Um, so, uh, for two dollars for ten boards, I went ahead and uh, ordered some boards. And um, let me show you what I what I built. Let me go grab it over here. It's been used. So what I did was I put a female and another female connector on it. Um, I had another video that shows you that the uh, female connectors and the male connectors are all backwards. Uh, 1 through 9 goes 9 through 1. And so you can't just pop on a, um, a, uh, a female and have all the pinout work correctly. Uh, so I had to do a little bit of modification. Uh, the first modification I had to do was pin 5, which is a ground ends up being pin 1. So I had to cut that trace on the PC board and I had to add um, let's see if I have like something to point with um, I had to add this this jumper here. So this this was pin, used to be pin 5 and it went to this ground plane but I cut that and over here uh, this is the new uh, pin 5 and I uh, uh, put it here onto ground so that works now and uh, of course this is backwards so um, 4 is actually pin 2, 3 is 3, um, and 7 and 8 are swapped around. So anyway, uh, but those come out to here to uh, come out to this connector and um, I put these jumpers on so that tw 2 and 3 are swapped and 7 and 8 are swapped um, and then it has an area, area here uh, which has some LEDs so you can monitor things and a pull-up, uh, actually the pull-down resistor, the LEDs uh, pull down to ground through a 1K resistor. So let me go over to a, a Zeta 2 and I'll show you this thing in action. All right, uh, I have it over here. I turned down the exposure a little bit so you can see the LEDs. Um, so this is the Zeta 2 and again female-female connector. This is a regular 9-pin adapter through R2. Uh, RS-232 to USB. And you can see here uh, there's one LED on. Um, that's actually coming from the PC side of things. There's no power on the Zeta 2 right now. So let me uh, let me turn on power to the Zeta. And uh, then I'm going to hit the reset button so you can watch to see what happens. And so you can see that the uh, 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 DTR um, uh, R, RTS line, the uh, CTS RTS lines came and, and uh, handshaked. 
um, and then you saw some data go. So the uh, uh, the way that these are, this is the uh, RxD, TxD, CTS, and RTS. So RTS and CTS are both high, saying that it's fine to, to, to travel both through in either direction. Those are uh, low, tra low, low logic trues. So we can watch the uh, receive and the transmit. So let me type a command here. Let me uh, go into CPM by typing the C command. Um, you can saw, saw something go there. Let me do a directory. Uh, D, and when I hit enter, you can see that the uh, transmit light lit while it was doing a, a, a directory, uh, typing a directory. Anyway, so it's a handy little board. Uh, it just allows me to plug it on and uh, troubleshoot Zeta boards, and um, pretty convenient.